हेलो एवरीवन ओपन योर हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स बुक क्लास एट लेसन फोर द यूनाइटेड नेशंस अर्लियर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द यूनाइटेड नेशंस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द यूएन एम्स एंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द यूएन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द यूएन इनिशिएटिव्स टेकन बाय द यूएन एंड द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द यूएन एंड इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द यूएन we had discussed about the principal organs of the united nations which included the general assembly the security council and the secretariat now today we are going to discuss about the economic and social council the international court of justice and the trusteeship council but before starting today's topic let us recall the definitions and the cross question answers related to the previous topic first of all the definitions the united nations charter apartheid the un system the general assembly the security council veto power and the secretariat now answer these cross questions when did the un come into existence what is the main aim of the un tell in brief about the general assembly tell any three functions of the security council tell in brief about the secretariat and the last question tell any three initiatives taken by the un now let us start the today's topic today's topic is organs of the united nations first three organs we had discussed in the earlier video now today we are going to talk about the next three organs of the united nations that means we are going to discuss page number 162 of the book and we are going to talk about the economic and the social council the international court of justice and the trusteeship council objectives of today's topic we will learn about these organs under the following headings what is it headquarters members when it was formed and the functions before discussing all these points let us discuss the new terms related to today's topic first term is human rights the basic rights of everyone to be treated fairly the international court of justice that is icj the world court the trusteeship council the sleeping or an inactive organ of the united nations self government the government of a country by its own people especially after having been a colony now all will open page 162 of the book the topic is the economic and social council before starting the reading let us discuss the main points the economic and social council now the first question is what is it the economic and social council is an organ of the un which encourages social and economic development of the world headquarters its headquarters are located in the new york city of united states of america members it has 54 representatives of different countries at the present when it was formed it was formed in 1945 and the main functions of economic and social council it protects human rights around the world second it works for progress in areas of health literacy employment standard of living etc the economic and social council this council encourages social and economic development and protects human rights around the world human rights means the basic rights of everyone to be treated fairly it works for progress in areas of health literacy employment children's welfare status of women standard of living international trade crime control and many more that means the different agencies of the united nations are working under the economic and social council for the progress in the various fields like health literacy etc the council consisted of 18 members in the beginning and now it has 54 members means when the economic and social council was formed in 1945 at that time there were only 18 members in the council but now at present there are 54 members in the council these members are elected by the general assembly 
वन थर्ड ऑफ द मेंबर्स आर रिप्लेस्ड बाय न्यू मेंबर्स एवरी ईयर दैट मीन्स द न्यू मेंबर्स आर इलेक्टेड बाय द जनरल असेंबली टू फिल दीज वेकेंसीज द काउंसिल इज सुपरवाइज बाय द जनरल असेंबली ओवरऑल वी कैन से दैट द इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल काउंसिल डील्स विद इकोनॉमिक सोशल एंड कल्चरल प्रॉब्लम्स इट ट्राइज टू प्रमोट cooperation among member states in these areas of activities in order to secure lasting peace in the world and the council works under the supervision of the general assembly it supervises the work of specialized agencies economic and social council holds one session of four weeks each year in july since 1998 and the president of the council is elected for one year term at the beginning of each new session and at present mona jewel is the current president of the economic and social council and he was elected as, as the president of economic and social council on july 25 2019 now i hope the economic and the social council is clear to you now the next organ of the united nations is the international court of justice icj before doing the reading let us discuss the main points the international court of justice that is icj now first question arises what is it the judicial wing of the united nations judicial means the law protecting that means the international court of justice is the law protecting body of the united nations and it is also called the world court headquarters its headquarters are located in hague in netherlands that is in europe members it has 15 judges when it was formed it was formed in 1945 functions the first function of the international court of justice is to settle disputes between two or more member countries and secondly to give advice on international law the international court of justice icj the international court of justice is the judicial wing of the united nations that means it is a law protecting body of the united nations it is also called the world court its main role is to settle disputes between two or more member countries it also hears cases on war crimes and offers legal advice to any organ of the un on request that means the court gives legal opinion to any organ of the united nations on the request but its opinion is not binding on the un organs the court also decides legal matters between countries or nations but it can do so only when both or all the contending parties agree to bring the issue before the court the icj has 15 judges they are elected by the general assembly from the different countries that means we can say that international court of justice consists of 15 judges and these judges are jointly elected by the general assembly and the security council and they are elected for 9 years with one third judges retiring every year and these judges do not represent their governments but they are independent judges its headquarters is located at the hague netherlands so to conclude that we can say that the international court of justice is the primary judicial organ of the united nations it is based in the peace palace in the hague netherlands and its main functions are to settle legal disputes submitted to it by countries and to give advisory opinions on legal questions submitted to it by international organs agencies and the un general assembly The official working languages of International Court of Justice are English and French. Now, the last organ of the United Nations that is the Trusteeship Council. Before reading, let us discuss the main points. The Trusteeship Council. What is it? The Trusteeship Council is a non-functional organ of the United Nations. That means it is a sleeping or an inactive organ of the United Nations. Now, headquarters its headquarters are located in new york city of united states of america members it includes five permanent members of the security council that is france russia america china and england when it was formed it was formed in 
functions it had to protect the interest of those countries that were not fully self governing that time the trusteeship council it was formed in 1945 just after the second world war it was formed to help countries under foreign rule gain independence at the end of the second world war 11 original trust territories were taken under this system trust territories were non self governing territories placed under an administration authority by trusteeship council it had to protect the interest of those countries that were not fully self governing that means this council was established for the better administration of those territories which were once the possession of germany italy and japan the objective of the trusteeship council was to help these territories to attain their independence from the foreign rule and 11 such territories were placed under uno trusteeship immediately after the second world war in addition they were guided by large nations towards attaining self government that means those 11 territories were getting complete support of the other large nations in attaining the self government it is non functional organ of the un now so we can conclude that the trusteeship council was established to help the general assembly to supervise the administration of territories of former colonies of european nations the council was composed of five permanent members of the security council and the territories which were under the united nations trusteeship are now independent so the trusteeship council does not function at present now i hope all the organs of the united nations are clear to you and your today's homework is to complete the chart of organs of the united nations in which you have to mention organs name what is it when it was formed headquarters members and its functions